Hey there everybody, it's me, Hology, and today I'm going to be showing you Windows 10 Mobile build 14322, which is available now through the Insider Fast Ring. Before we jump in, I'm going to go ahead and warn that this build is definitely a lot more unstable than the previous one, being a redstone build. Now starting off with the lock screen, we have dedicated music controls up here at the top, which of course you can play and pause music from. Of course, this does block Windows Hello, but you can access it again by swiping up to reveal the keypad. This also works with notifications. As well on the lock screen, the useless back button has been replaced by the camera button, which launches the camera app, which is useful for phones that don't have a dedicated camera key. Be aware that one issue that has been recognized in this build is that a lot of Windows 8.1 apps don't work too well, such as Facebook Messenger, which does not open when clicking on the tile. A way around this, though, is to use the Facebook app and launch Messenger through the Messenger shortcut in the top right. You can also get to it by selecting notifications when you get them, which is a relief. Also, the annoying visual bug where the Start menu icon wouldn't appear in Task View has been fixed. The Settings app has also received a little bit of an overhaul. Now you have icons for all the individual sections within the subsections of the Settings menu, which is nice. Going into notifications and actions here, we now see that you have this little UI which you can drag and drop and reorganize the custom actions, which is really nice. A lot easier than the previous method which had a bunch of dialog boxes. Also now you can customize to turn on and off specific quick actions, so if you want less, you can disable some of them, or just keep them all on like I do. Last but not least, all the emojis in this build have received a visual overhaul, with a new design that matches the rest of the Microsoft design language. Still simple, pretty, and flat like they used to, but just a new look. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say for this video, but if you want to see a full list of issues and new changes in this build, go ahead and click the link in the description, which takes you to the official blog post. If this video was helpful and you'd like to see more tips and tricks and stay updated about future Microsoft products, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching this video with me, Hology, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.